running in circles and circles and we hit a dry spot and both of us got ejected. Uh, I'm in. <laughs> yeah, you got to be careful on them doggone uh, three-wheelers. Them things was dangerous, man. Them was dangerous duck plucking doggone things there, break. I tell you what, I enjoyed the heck out of them. But we had a hell of a time. We had a, a 200S, Honda 200S. And we rode that thing all over the place. He lived in a, in a town in... 245, Keystone 205, Ron C's East Coast of Florida, man. I come in 205. Wave my hand, we'll see you. Bum and bum. Really, with me and him both on it. And I swear he can go to palmetto bushes. He can go under anything. We could be doing a wheelie the whole time. He, uh, he had a knack for running that thing. Poor Roger on that man. Yeah, I had a had a boy man years ago, and uh, he had one of them three wheelers, and I took him out somewhere he could ride it at, and there was this big monster hill man. It was kind of whippity and whatnot, and uh, I said, well hell, go on up that one right there. I said, you should be good enough. You ride that thing enough. He's like, uh uh, I ain't going up that. Are you crazy? I'm like, man, all you got to do is lean forward and hug the dog on uh, handlebars. You'd be all right. He's like, uh uh, I ain't doing it. You think it's that easy? Let me see you do it. Man, I ain't never rode a three wheeler in my life, man. I'd never rode one in my life. I said, fine. You know what? I'm going to try. Man, I whooped that duck parking three wheeler up that dog on hill, man, and he just. He couldn't believe it, man. I got to the top, spun that thing around, looked at him. I said, now what? He said, man, you are crazy. <laughs> yeah, you definitely, uh, you got to have some balls with them three-wheelers. Right now, see, I had the opposite thing. I had the whole way up there, and ended up, it ended up flipping back up on me. But, uh, you know, that was my fault. You know, I, I got scared, and... Uh, didn't give it the gas it needed, and, uh, you know, but that's me. I'm not much of a dare to do it. Uh, especially when it comes to heights, as you well know. The problem right there. But, uh, you know, you gotta do when you gotta do it, and uh, sometimes it works out, and sometimes it doesn't. Oh, yeah, I know what you're saying, man. Yeah, I, uh, I got lucky that day. I mean, I did, man, because I didn't know nothing about that three-wheeler. It was a Honda. What what size? I think it was like a Honda 250, maybe a 350, something like that. And uh, he just looked at me cockeyed, man, you know, and I'm like, you know what? Fine. I, I said you should be able to do it because you know how to ride the thing. I ain't never rode the thing, you know. But, uh, man, he was surprised, bro. I mean, good God. He was like, oh, my God. <laughs> I whipped that thing every which way but loose, man, and got straight up on top of that hill. He was, man, he was mind blown completely apart. Mr. 913, rocking Canton, Ohio, where waves I'm getting on down. 10-4 audio, man. 10-4. Yeah, it might have been a big red. That was the Mama Jamma Honda back in the days. You know, it's, just, it's a lot of fun, for sure. I done had my four wheelers, now I got a dang uh, dirt bike. And I don't know what the hell I'm thinking about having one of them. Well, I had a, a real big one at one time. I had a 250 two-stroke, and that was uh, I was scared of the damn thing. But now, now I'm down to the 80. I got my YZ80, which is a two-stroke, too. And it's... You know, it's big enough for me to sit on it, it's nice and comfortable, and I won't kill myself on it, even though it has tried to get to a But, uh, I just ride that thing around, it's a lot of fun to me. And I got a little, uh, 70 for the kids, a little Honda 70 for the kids, which is hilarious that the 70 is so much smaller, it's four-stroke, so much smaller than that, uh, two-stroke. It's amazing. Stand by. Oh, and Roger on that, man. <laughs> oh, man, I love it, dude. You are so strong in my radio. It's absolutely amazing, no doubt in my mind. Yeah, man, I love it. Yeah, the, actually, it looks like the sun may be starting to come out. Uh-oh. Hey, uh, 9.13, you know what's going to happen here before long. I'm going to be pulling that Polaris out and uh, getting it on. <laughs> Good God in a quarter, 9.13.
I don't know what you're doing down there, but I know that duck like is stroking and smoking there. Come on back. Which has got the two 400As in it. That's all I'm doing. Into my, into my Mako. Just, just aimed at you. That's all. Get it done. I heard that I did. So when, uh, when you plan on putting that in the doggone box and sending it home? <laughs> hey, 913. I don't think it's going to fit in that little box I got the first time. But uh, I, I sure will be waiting for it to come in the box and come home near break. Well, for some reason, I'm having having a few issues with my three pill. I, I keep, uh, I, I think I keep having some bad jumpers in the house here, and I've, I've about thrown everything away and just made some new ones. But uh, I've been running this one pill into it, and then I run that Drake Four into the uh, Ghost Rider, and it's doing pretty good that way. I, I also have a two pill I can run into the Drake, into the Drake, and that'll give me a little bit more power on that. Uh, Ghost Rider, but, uh, you know, that seems to be doing good enough. Oh, yeah, no doubt, my, my, man. No doubt. Ah, shit, that thing's smoking, man. That thing is just literally ripping the air apart, and I'm enjoying every doggone bit of it, no doubt, my mind. Oh, 913, you know what I've had going on for a little while now. I said 999. 9.13 around FL, the video horn. <laughs> I'm gone. All right, 10-4, I think I heard my neighbor uh, key up there. Maybe he can holler at you real quick.